Hello 2017. <laughs> Finally. Here are the things I'd like to achieve in you this year. Wait, should that be with you? Hmm, I should probably know. But regardless, these are the goals for you. I don't really remember when I stopped calling resolutions resolutions and started calling them goals, but I like goals better. They seem more achievable and more things that I'll stick to rather than doing for a month and then letting go. So, 2017 goals. The first is one that I think is a really popular goal, um, which is to improve my overall health, which isn't just eating better or doing more exercise, it's getting more better quality sleep, drinking more water and being less stressed. I spent a lot of 2016 really stressed and really on edge and I don't want to be like that this year. I also want 2017 to be the year that I start really focusing on doing things that make me happy rather than doing things I feel I have to. I mean, yeah, sure, I'll have to do my tax return and I have to go to work, but I want to do more happy things for me this year. My second goal is to read more. Read way more. I hardly read anything in 2016 that wasn't for university or dissertation, which is still university, but there wasn't any reading for pleasure and I used to love doing that when I was younger. I discovered a lot of really cool magazines like Blogosphere and Lutique and a couple of others that I couldn't find to fit in this shot, but they're there. And I really want to keep doing that in 2017. I want a collection of magazines and books that I can't put down or couldn't put down until I had to. I want a library. <laughs> so reading more, 2017. Let's go. Number three is to take topic or be as close to taking topic as I physically can get without doing it in that year. Topic is the test of proficiency in Korean and although I know that I can speak Korean myself, I don't have anything formal to say that I can and it's just helpful when looking for work. Number four is another really popular one, which is to travel more. Um, 2016, I got to go to Italy and Austria with my family and the year before that I went to Slovenia. But I really want to see more of the world and I also want to see more of the world by myself. I think solo travel is something that I really want to do more of. Top of my list, if you follow me on Twitter, you'll know this. Um, top of my list is Singapore. I have so many friends to see in Singapore and I will make it happen. <laughs> And number five is to nurture my creative side, which is something that I've been neglecting massively the last couple of years, but my experiences both with GCSE art and A-level music burned me quite badly for doing anything and showing it, or doing anything to sort of have it displayed. And 2017 is the year that I want to start doing things and not really having to care whether or not it's perfect or well researched or sounds right. I bought this notebook from Paper Chase last year with all the intentions in the world of turning it into an art journal and I haven't touched it at all so that needs to change and I also want to do more creative things with both my blog and this YouTube channel. Um, I know I haven't really uploaded frequently here at all but I really want to change that in 2017 but it's so intimidating. I think that YouTube is the most intimidating platform because you have such a wide variety of basically everything and I've spent the last couple of weeks really sort of brainstorming and formulating content ideas and sort of graphics that I want to go along with it so keep your eyes peeled for that. <laughs> And I also want to do a lot more collaborative efforts with my blog as well and more editorial style shoots and things like that. I really want to push myself creatively this year. If you want to read more about my 2017 goals, I did write a blog post on it and you can go and see that. Um, I'll leave the link down below. It's quite in depth, but it does explain sort of more around each point and there are a few others on there as well. I wanted to keep this quite short. 
and let me know what your goals for 2017 are down below. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in my next video.